All right, what we're looking at is just a whole series of these. We run in a ton, so you're going to see a bunch of clips. But we're going to look at various coverages uh, and various ways the read works out on the back side. We've already seen stitch and squeeze, so you're not going to see a lot of those on the front side. We've already kind of shown you the way that works. Um, but what we've got really is we're going to show the back side. So here we're in a sniffer set. Um, we've got a tight end. It's 11 personnel. And so we're running stitch to the top of the screen. And then we're going to run X read. So we're going to get the switch release read to the bottom of the screen. Okay. And what you're going to see here is it looks like pre snap. We've got a safety well outside the hash. It's probably there's a definite chance this is going to be a capped look. But what ends up happening is he turns his back. Okay. So they're running some type of poach type deal where he is coming back to the middle to kind of rob the middle and he's got eyes there. So that to us is uncapped. Okay. By his depth, he may not necessarily be, but this is a really good player at X. He turns his back to me. It's uncapped okay, if he can't see me. So you can see we're working a, a, a mid zone fake here um, with the running back. Okay. We are capped on the circle read with the tight end. The tight end's depth is a little too short, okay, but he's capped with a guy over the top, okay, which is the corner. Now, if it was just this defender, that would not be a cap, okay, because we can only be capped by a corner on the circle read. So he's capped because he has this corner over the top. Okay, we are right up the seam, and we talked about how we don't throw seams much, but when we get the seam, it ought to be a touchdown. So that's a very big uh, touchdown for us in a region game. Okay, so there's quick play fake. He's got his eyes slightly. I'm going to hold the backside safety or the front side safety with my eyes. Okay, it doesn't take long to do that because he's well over there. So I can get my eyes pretty quick back to the seam read triangle. Okay, and we're able to get it completed. Okay, here's another example okay, where uh, we've got squeeze at the top of the screen. So now we're going to run read into the boundary. Okay. The inside releases, he's got his eyes on the hash area and feels like he's capped. So he's going to snap and wrap in the first hole. He's open and the quarterback gives it to him. Now, you'll notice really quickly, if you're paying any attention, that the circle read pops wide open with a tight end. Uh, they bust the coverage and we probably have a huge play and or a touchdown, but we're not going to pass up open receivers. Okay? He comes right to the middle, uh, the triangle, the top of the triangle, which is going to be Seam read, the seam read's wide open, so he's going to throw it. Okay, here's another example. All right, looks good to me pre-snap. We may have had some good stuff here on the stitch side, but we're going to end up working pretty quickly to the seam read side. Okay, so it's sort of a tilted too high safety look, uh, but they both end up dropping. Our quarterback gets really quickly to the back side. He knows he doesn't have to hold much on the front side because the safety's so wide, so he's going to get his eyes back. Okay, we have an uncapped circle read. Okay, it's a busted coverage. He's wide open. Throw it to a big tight end. Okay, and it's something again. So this is a guy that's in, in a lot of run plays. He's a heavy run set tight end, big guy. Uh, but he's going to practice this stuff too. So our tight ends, even if they're personnel package, you know, wise, they're more of a run game type guy. They're going to get reps at this too. So we're able to get a touchdown um, off of the circle read. All right, you can dress this up and do all sorts of things. Here, we're just working a motion with the running back into an empty set, okay? So his job is the same. If he were on this side, he would swing. If he were on the opposite side, he would drag, but he's the flat control, and he's got to get underneath um, the seam read and the circle read. So since he motioned out, he's just going to stay right here, and he just becomes a guy to hold a corner. And what you really do now is if the corner is going to stay and match your running back, you really put these guys in a bind because we're still going to switch release um, with those two players. And so that becomes, you know, you're using your rules and knowing who's got who. You can see really quickly um, they bump out and the, there's a little bit of indecision there as they're kind of looking around about who's got who. Okay, They have a deep safety over the top. It's not even in the screen. So the guy running the seam read feels like he's capped. So he's going to snap, needed to snap into that second window instead of just being covered behind the two guys. But it's okay because the circle read is really, really open. Okay. Uh, and able to score another touchdown off that. All right. Now let's go into how you can work 
the last part of the read. All right, so felt pretty good up here on the hunt. Probably could have had a chance at that, even though the route's not great. He's backing up, but we've got a receiver who decides he's uncapped and he keeps on running. We've got the circle read. They really, really drop out of there in coverage. Okay, and that just means we work to the outlet. Okay, so now we work down to the bottom. Uh, we've got the drag right there in open space. He's wide open. Um, and so just dropping the ball off, we're able to get a good game. Again, and you work these and you rep this time and time again, and you work triangle read drills with your quarterback um, really early on where he starts to grasp, okay, I can't let two guys cover these three routes. A garbage can can get open against zone. So if they play zone, I've got to be able to get completions. Okay, we've got – some things got definitely got an option on the circle read here. He just drops the ball off because nobody's got the back. Okay, and again, just dropping the ball off, able to get easy completions, and the read stays the same. I'm going to take my eyes to the field lock concept. Okay, whether regardless of what it is, and then I'm going to work backside to the seam read triangle. Okay, one high look, safety's already kicked to the middle of the field, so you're feeling really really good about this uncapped space on the hash. All right, so we're in kind of a um, almost a fullback look here. Um, we're running the circle read. The circle read is capped by the corner. Remember, he can't be capped by this linebacker, but the corner can cap him. The seam read is uncapped in the hash area. All right, quarterback gives him a little bit of a back shoulder throw. Um, Keeps him away from the inside defender. We're able to get another explosive. 